Hi guys! So after posting my last video, Friday Ramble, um, I talked a bit about my hair and doing a couple of tiny changes to it and I got a request in the comments to make a video of the changes that I make so this is that video. I just woke up so that's why I look like this and my hair is kind of a mess but you will be able to tell the difference from before and after still. So the main thing I'm going to do is my regular side shaving routine but this time I'm also going to cut all of this hair off and shave that just as short so I'm only going to have the mohawk so I don't have to care about the hair in the back it's going to feel awesome. I'm also going to trim the mohawk a little bit because it's becoming a bit too heavy to stay in the shape that I want um, so I'm going to trim that a bit First off, I thought that I would show you uh, the tools that I use for cutting my hair. So for actual cutting, I have a hair salon pair of scissors. Um, I've been cutting my own hair since I was 13. I haven't been to a hairdresser in, yeah, so long. Um, so, uh, yeah, I save a lot of money that way. That's how I can change the colors and stuff. Um, so this is just a regular um, hair salon pair of scissors. Um, tempered stainless steel, I guess it is. Um, this baby is sharp, I have never had to sharpen it and I've used it for a lot of years. I think I got it when I was like 20 or something. So I'm not sure the, yeah, I'm gonna need this for trimming the the mohawk itself. Hopefully I'm not gonna need it for the back. Um, I have two other tools that I use. The first one is this trimmer right here. It's from a brand called Melissa. I do not recommend this trimmer. This broke the second time I used it. It was a really cheap one and yeah, I just wanted something new because my old one broke too. So I got the cheapest one they had and uh, like the the stop thing for for this guy, like where you, yeah, just, it just doesn't work um, properly. So kids, if you're gonna invest, so kids, if you're gonna invest in trimmers, don't pick the cheapest one because you're gonna regret it. You're gonna have to get new ones and it's gonna end up costing you twice as much. So so this is what I'm going to try using to remove the hair in the neck and then for trimming the sides and trim, trimming the back hair to the length that I want, I use this trimmer right here. Uh, this is by Philips. This is a really, really good one. So this is what me and my boyfriend use this for our shaved heads. Um, and we go for the shortest length, which is one millimeter, so it's almost to the skin, that's what I like. So those are what I'm going to be using today. So, yeah. Let's get started. I'm gonna find my comb and just see where I want to make that line. Ah, too much stuff. So I think, like, somewhere up here... It's where I usually draw the line for where the mohawk starts. Oh, come on, work with me. Just checking from both directions. Yep, yeah, that looks about right. All right, so got this on the shortest possible. I'm um, just going to try it and if it doesn't work I'm going to use the scissors. back is now gone. Now what I need to do is go over the entire shaved part with this one just to get it the really shorter length.
if you have someone to help you with the back, it's a good idea to let them go over um, your hair once you're done because you usually miss a spot, especially if you have as bad lighting as I do in here. I think it looks okay. I think I got... Yeah, maybe just a little bit more in the back. And it's kind of weird to see the shape of your head. It stands out so much. Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay, so next up I'm gonna trim the mohawk a little bit. Where did I put the comb? Here we go. So, I have a lot of product in it now. Um, I prefer cutting my hair when it's not um, clean or just washed. Like, when you go to a salon and they always start by washing your hair. I, It's just weird because you don't see... Like, when you have a haircut like this, you don't really see the end result when you cut the hair unstyled. So... I try to just comb out as much product as I can, my poor hair, um, and then go about cutting it. And then I shower, and then when I get out of the shower, I style the hair, and then I can see what it looks like. And if I'm not happy with it, well, I can just go back in and cut some more. So you can see this is like a lot of hair. I don't want to take too much because I kind of like the mohawk, um, the way it is, I don't want it to be too small, it just needs to be a little shorter and this, <laughs> like the bangs are fucking annoying the shit out of me, so, okay, here we go. So what I do is just comb it up like this, just take one part at a time, and then... I cut this way, not this way. If I were to cut it like this, I would get a super straight line and it would look like shit. I remember when I was a kid, you know, cutting your hair the first time on your own and you just cut it straight off and it's like, why doesn't it look good? Well, yeah, because you cut it straight off. Not in here somewhere. Okay, so every time you gather some hair, make sure you get some of the length that you just cut so that you have something to compare to. I'm pretty sure that if a proper hairdresser saw this, they would go, no! I can't believe she's doing that. Well, I mean, it's worked for me since I was 13, so, you know. But kids, don't try this at home. Like, if you absolutely have to cut your own hair. I mean, shaving the, uh, shaving stuff off is easy. That you can do it by yourself. But cutting is... It took me years to perfect the kind of hairstyle that I want. And it's... Yeah, I looked like shit in the beginning when I cut my own hair, so it's not all super easy, you know? <coughs> ah, hair in my eye. Alright, um, I think that should do it, actually. Just try to gather it quickly to see what it looks like. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is hop in the shower, wash my hair, come out, blow dry it, put some products in, and then we're gonna see the finished result.